Not a word of lie. This has quickly become one of my favorite sports. If you haven't seen it on television yet, you have to check it out. Uh, it is just absolutely epic all the way through. It's called the Red Bull Crashed Ice, and it is coming up. They're looking for qualifiers here in Vancouver, and we're joined by a couple of guys who have some experience in the sport. Robert Voss and Trevor Mack joining Hello. us to talk about crushed ice. What's crashed wrong ice. with you guys? <laughs> what made you guys do this? It looks just insane. Robert, how many years for you? This will be my seventh if I make it. And how did you get involved? How did you hear about it? Because seven years ago, I mean, nobody had really heard about it. Um, I was at a party and I was talking to this. <laughs> Red Bull. I was talking to this girl. I was talking to this Red Bull girl. Okay. And I told her, I told her I was a hockey player, and she told me about the tryouts, and I just showed up and... Did you have any idea the first time that you went for the tryout? I mean, had you seen any of it before? Because this is seven years ago. The sport's grown monumentally, but did you know really what you were getting into? I'd never heard of it before. I went home next day and YouTubed it. And, <laughs> and you saw this like, and you thought, Mother well, of that God. looks I need like to do a that. great idea. So for yeah. people that aren't familiar with the sport, maybe you guys can tell us how fast you go. How long is this track? Because, I mean, it, it it's so fast on television. Sure. What is it really like? It's well, it's like, it looks fast on television, but then it's like twice as fast in real life. Like it's totally. So what speeds do you guys get uh, up it's to? It's like 60 kilometers an hour. <laughs> they clock they clock someone out in Valkenburg at 74. 74. You're yeah, kidding me. Okay. Weekend. So Robert, you've done it uh, six times. Hopefully this year will be seven. Trevor, last year was your first My year. My first year, yeah. What's that experience like? Because not only is it about the course and and how haywire it is, but the atmosphere that Red yeah. Bull. Uh, brings around this whole event is unbelievable. Over a hundred thousand people watching. Yeah, it was. What's like, that like? Well, I'm from like this small town, and then like I William Blake. Like, William Blake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like I go there, and it's like 100,000 people, like cameras, TV, music, lights, and no pressure. Yeah. Is it? No how do? You, what's going on in your head when you're coming out of the gate? When you're actually it's, doing it with my, that all around you? My first thought was like, don't fall, or else you're gonna like embarrass <laughs> don't yourself. Don't fall, don't die. Friend. Trevor, how, yeah. how did that go? Did you not fall? How did it go um, for you last year? Uh, luckily I didn't fall, but uh, yeah. So. Now, Rob, we're looking, yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave we're it there. Right. We're he looking didn't at some fall. footage when people do fall. I mean, my first thought is, oh my God, you could lose a finger or something a worse. Darwinism what man. kind of equipment are you wearing? Is it just hockey gear? Yeah, it protects you good enough. Like your fingers are in the. <laughs> it's good in the enough. If, you're, if your equipment <laughs> falls, if your helmet falls off. You got to stop. Oh, That's absolutely. Uh, yeah. In terms of strategy, uh, how integral is that that whole shot at the beginning? Like getting to the corner first. How big is that in this sport? That if you watch all the races, like the guy who gets out first, he usually wins because he gets out of all the stuff the that's traffic. going on, and <laughs> everyone else is just fighting, like pushing each other. Trying I, to I was going to ask about a contact and, and the rules around contact and, and things like that. Are the rules incidental in contact? Incidental. But you can't you can't grab a guy and pull him right. back. Yeah, and I do there have are this spastic all... right elbow yeah. Yeah. sometimes. It's Gordy, kind of it, just, it happens. Yeah, sometimes. yeah it happens. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the qualifications, Trevor. I, uh, the process that you went through last year and, and that people that are trying to qualify this year what is it uh, okay well last year they were doing commercials I guess they were doing it all around Canada and I saw the commercial and I was like oh hey maybe I can qualify or something maybe they'll pick me and then I was randomly picked and then uh, uh, we went to uh, UBC and I tried out and what is the tryout what are what are they looking for like obviously they're not building that course for you guys to sort of do yeah. heats and stuff but what do you actually have to do in the qualification uh, process last year this year is a bit different but last year we uh, uh, it involved like uh, you know acceleration, um, going down in your belly, getting up as fast as you can, jumping over um, pylons and uh, circles and 360s. At any point, did they wow. just start throwing skates at you <laughs> just to see if you? Now you hit. broke no. your blade. It, 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 how does that even happen? Your skate blade. Um, well, I took this one jump out in Quebec, and when I landed, my blade broke right in half, and half of it was behind me somewhere. I it's didn't okay. know it was this. In so I was gonna say, did you realize I, I, I that that had happened? I have no idea. And there was this hairpin right away. <gasps> and so I go to turn, nothing happened. I just right in the just board. Did it. Like, so how go. much do you study yeah. the course before you do something like this? Do you get a chance to know what it is? They give you about six, seven hours of practice before you actually have to do your time qualifier out there. So you do get you get, some time. you get to know it. Yeah. Mental preparation. So there's 50 walk-ins available. I know that I'm going to be there, Mike. But yeah, how, how does it work? Because it's going to be happening uh, this Friday. Yeah, this Friday in Coquitlam at Planet Ice at 7.30. Um, registration is closed. Registration's closed. But they there's walk-ups. 
yeah, they have those 200 people selected already, but yeah, the first 50 people to walk up, they get to uh, try out as well. And any preparation stuff that you can tell people about uh, if they're planning on it? Are you allowed to say how they're going to be testing you guys? You don't want to give it away. I, I know. I, I want to make it. Okay. It's all about strategy. <laughs> well, they want you to drink is drink five beers really quickly before you go in <laughs> yeah. there no, for the trial. No, they prefer Red Bull. Duh. And they, yeah. <laughs> and fuck a Red Bull. There you go. You guys, thank you so much. Awesome, uh, boys. Don't lose a finger. You can check it out. As we said, it is uh, happening this Friday, February 10th at Planet Ice in Coquitlam. Uh, once again, and it's too late to register, but there's 50 chances to get in uh, on a first-come, first-served basis. This is starting at 7.30. Uh, you can find out more on the website and go to the Red Bull website to watch more of the footage. It is absolutely insane. Yeah, you can insane. see all the highlights and everything there. It's just absolutely crazy. And obviously, if the tryouts start at 7.30, you want to get there probably 7.30 the day before to make sure <laughs> that you're one of the 50 qualifying. Thanks, guys. It'll be great. Guys, thank you. Thanks for having Best us. Best of yeah. luck this year. Thanks. I look forward to watching you guys compete. It's awesome. We're going to take a break.